Do you speak English? Excuse me. Are you American? No. Do you speak English? A little, but not very well. How long have you been here? Two months. What do you do for work? I'm a student. How about you? I'm a student too. Asking directions. Hi, Michael. Hi, Amy. What's up? I'm looking for the airport. Can you tell me how to get there? No, sorry. I don't know. I think I can take the subway to the airport. Do you know where the subway is? Sure. It's over there. Where? I don't see it. Across the street. Oh, I see it now. Thanks. No problem. Do you know if there's a restroom around here? Yes, there's one here. It's in the store. Thank you. Bye. Do you want something to drink? David, would you like something to eat? No, I'm full. Do you want something to drink? Yes, I'd like some coffee. Sorry, I don't have any coffee. That's okay. I'll have a glass of water. A small glass or a big one? Small, please. Here you are. Thanks. Where are you from? Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Do you speak English? A little. Are you American? Yes. Where are you from? I'm from California. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's your name? Excuse me. What's your name? My name is Jessica. What's yours? John. You speak English very well. Thank you. Do you know what time it is? Sure. It's five ten. What did you say? I said it's five ten. Thanks. I'm hungry. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Fine. How are you doing? Okay. What do you want to do? I'm hungry. I'd like to eat something. Where do you want to go? I'd like to go to an Italian restaurant. What kind of Italian food do you like? I like spaghetti. Do you like spaghetti? No, I don't. But I like pizza. That's too late. Mary, would you like to get something to eat with me? Okay. When? At ten o'clock. Ten in the morning? No, at night. Sorry, that's too late. I usually go to bed around ten. Okay. How about one thirty? No, that's too early. I'll still be at work then. How about five? That's fine. Okay. See you then. All right. Bye. When do you want to go? Hi, Mark. Hi. What are you planning to do today? I'm not sure yet. Would you like to have lunch with me? Yes. When? Is eleven thirty okay? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Can you say that again, please? I said eleven thirty. Oh, I'm busy then. Can we meet a little later? Okay. How about twelve thirty? Okay. Where? How about Bill's Seafood Restaurant? Oh, where is that? It's on Seventh Street. Okay, I'll meet you there. Now or later. Chris, where are you going? I'm going to the store. Really? I need to go to the store too. Would you like to come with me? Yes. Let's go together. Would you like to go now or later? Now. What? Now would be better. Okay, let's go. Should we walk? No, it's too far. Let's drive. Choosing a time to meet. Jennifer, 
Would you like to have dinner with me? Yes, that would be nice. When do you want to go? Is today okay? Sorry, I can't go today. How about tomorrow night? Okay, what time? Is nine all right? I think that's too late. Is six okay? Yes, that's good. Where would you like to go? The Italian restaurant on Fifth Street. Oh, I don't like that restaurant. I don't want to go there. How about the Korean restaurant next to it? Okay, I like that place. Ordering food. Hello, sir. Welcome to the French Garden Restaurant. How many? One. Right this way. Please have a seat. Your waitress will be with you in a moment. Hello, sir. Would you like to order now? Yes, please. What would you like to drink? What do you have? We have bottled water, juice, and coke. I'll have a bottle of water, please. What would you like to eat? I'll have a tuna fish sandwich and a bowl of vegetable soup. Do you have enough money? Laura, what are you going to do today? I'm going shopping. What time are you leaving? I'm going to leave around four o'clock. Will you buy a ham sandwich for me at the store? Okay. Do you have enough money? I'm not sure. How much do you have? Twenty-five dollars. Do you think that's enough? That's not very much. I think it's okay. I also have two credit cards. Let me give you another ten dollars. Thanks. See you later. Introducing a friend. Robert, this is my friend, Mrs. Smith. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Smith. What do you do for work? I'm a doctor. Oh, where do you work? New York University Hospital in New York City. What do you do? I'm a teacher. What do you teach? I teach English. Where? At a high school in New Jersey. That's nice. How old are you? I'm thirty-two. Asking about location. Excuse me. I'm looking for the Holiday Inn. Do you know where it is? Sure. It's down this street on the left. Is it far from here? No, it's not far. How far is it? About a mile and a half. How long does it take to get there? Five minutes or so. Is it close to the subway station? Yes, it's very close. The subway station is next to the hotel. You can walk there. Vacation to Canada. What's today's date? It's July fifth. When are you going on vacation? I'm leaving on Sunday. We're going to Canada. Really? The day after tomorrow? That's very soon. Yeah, I know. How long are you going to stay there? About two weeks. When are you coming back? I'm coming back on the seventeenth. All right. Have a nice trip. How have you been? Hello, Richard. Hi, Karen. How have you been? Not too good. Why? I'm sick. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. It's not serious. That's good. How's your wife? She's good. Is she in America now? No, she's not here yet. Where is she? She's in Canada with our kids. I see. I have to go now. Please tell your wife I said hi. Okay. I'll talk to you later. I hope you feel better. Thanks. Buying a shirt. Excuse me. Hello, sir. May I help you? Yes. Can I see that T-shirt on the top shelf, please? Sure. Here it is. How much does it cost? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. That's too much. 
How about this one? It's on sale for only $35. I don't like that one. How about the one next to the black gloves? It's very similar to the one you'd like. That's nice. How much is it? $30. That'll be fine. Is this color okay, or would you like a different color? That blue one's fine. Do you need any more of these shirts? Yes. How many do you want? I'll take two more, a red one and a white one. Do you know the address? Excuse me, do you know how to get to the mall? Sure, I used to work there. Go straight for about a mile, then turn left at the light. The mall will be on your right. Do you know the address? Yes, the address is 541 Main Street. Can you write it down for me, please? No problem. Is it faster if I take Highland Avenue? No, that way is longer. There are more stoplights on that street. I think you're right. Thank you. Who is that woman? Joseph, who is that woman? That's Susan. What does she do for work? She's a lawyer. Is she American? No, but she speaks English fluently. She's really tall. Do you know her? Yes, I know her. We're friends. Who's that man standing next to her? Which man? That short guy on her right. What's his name? Oh, that's Matt. He's really good looking. Yeah. Do you know him? I don't know him, but I think my sister does. Is he married? Yes, he's married. I remember now. I met him before. Common questions. Brian, do you know how to speak English? Yes. Where did you learn? I learned in college. You speak really well. Thank you. How long have you been in the U.S.? Three weeks. Is your wife with you? Yes, she just got here yesterday. Have you been to California before? No, I've never been there. Have you ever been to Las Vegas? Yes, I went there once on a business trip. Do you have any children? Charles, do you have any children? Yes. How many children do you have? I have two kids, a boy and a girl. What are their names? Jack and Stephanie. How old are they? Stephanie is 18 and Jack is 24. Are they in school? Stephanie is. She goes to college in Washington and Jack works in Florida. What does Stephanie study? She studies English. Is she here now? No, she's at school. I lost my wallet. Hey, how's it going? Not good. I lost my wallet. Oh. That's too bad. Was it stolen? No, I think it came out of my pocket when I was in the taxi. Is there anything I can do? Can I borrow some money? Sure. How much do you need? About fifty dollars. That's no problem. Thanks. I'll pay you back on Friday. That'll be fine. Here you are. What are you going to do now? I'm going to buy some books, and then I'm going to the gas station. If you wait a minute, I can go with you. Okay. I'll wait for you. The supermarket is closed. Jeff, I'm going to the supermarket. Do you want to come with me? I think the supermarket is closed now. Oh? When does it close? It closes at 7 on Sundays. That's too bad. Don't worry. We can go tomorrow morning. It opens at 8. All right. What do you want to do now? Let's take a walk for a half an hour. My sister will be here at about 8.30, and then we can all go out to dinner. Where does she live? She lives in San Francisco. How long has she lived there? 
I think she's lived there for about ten years. That's a long time. Where did she live before that? San Diego. Help with pronunciation. William, do you like studying English? I like studying English, and I can read well. But speaking can be difficult. It's not that bad. If you talk to your American friends every day, you'll learn quickly. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What do you want to know? I have my book from class here. How do you say this word? Laptop. Sorry, I don't understand. What does that mean? A laptop is a type of computer that you can carry with you. Do you understand? Yes, I think so. Can you say it again? Laptop. Laptop. Did I pronounce that correctly? Yes, that's right. That's very good. Thanks. And this word? How do you pronounce this? That word is pronounced kitchen. Thanks so much. You're a good teacher. Phone call at work. Hello. Hi, is James there, please? Yes. Who's calling? Linda. One moment, please. Okay. Hello. Hi, James. It's Linda. Hi, Linda. What are you doing now? I'm working. Are you busy? Yes. It's been really busy here all day. What time do you get off work? Eight thirty. I'll call you back after eight thirty. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye bye. I went shopping. Sarah, what did you do today? I went shopping. Did you buy anything? Yes, I bought a few things. What did you buy? I bought this coat. Do you like it? Yes, I like it a lot. It's very pretty. Where did you buy it? At the mall on Fifth Street. Was it expensive? No, it wasn't expensive. It was on sale for twenty dollars. That's cheap. I know. It was a really good deal. I don't think you'll need to wear it for a while. It's been really hot lately. Going to the library. Lisa, would you like to go to the library with me? Okay. Do you think we can go buy a newspaper first? Sure. First we'll go buy a newspaper, and then we'll go to the library. Are we going to walk or drive? The weather is really nice today. Let's walk. The weather is good now, but I think it's supposed to rain this afternoon. All right. Then let's take an umbrella. Is your brother coming with us? No, he's still sleeping. Wow! It's already ten. He must have been up late last night. Yeah, he didn't come home until twelve. I hope he can come later. I hope so too. I'll give him a call when we get there. How do we get to the library from here? It's straight down this road on the left, next to the museum. It takes about ten minutes. Family trip. David, what have you been up to lately? I went on a trip with my family last week. Really? Where did you go? We went to Europe. What cities did you go to? London, Paris, and a few other cities. Did you go to Berlin? No, we didn't go there. I'd like to go there next time. I think this summer is a good time to visit Berlin. It's a beautiful place, and the people there are very nice. That's what I've heard. I went there last year. If you want, I can give you some information I have about the city. Thanks. What kind of music do you like, Paul? What kind of music do you like to listen to? All kinds, but mostly pop, rock, and classical. Why? I have tickets to a show. Do you want to go with me? What kind of music is it? Pop. It's Mariah Carey. When is it? At eight tomorrow night. Yeah, I'd like to go. Do you think we should have dinner first? Yes, that's a good idea. Let's eat at the restaurant across the street from my apartment. 
Oh, I think I know the place you mean. We ate there last month, right? Yeah, that's right. You have a good memory. Where do your parents live? Hi, Melissa. Are you going home this weekend? No, not this weekend. I have too much work to do. Where do your parents live? My father lives in Washington, D.C. How about your mother? My mother died two years ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is your father still working? No, he's retired. Do you have any family here? Yes, two of my cousins live here, and my aunt and uncle live about thirty miles from here. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have two brothers who live in New York and a sister who lives in Boston. Do you see them a lot? Not as much as I'd like to. Usually just on holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Can you help me find a few things? I can't find my glasses, and I can't see anything. Can you help me find a few things? No problem. What are you looking for? My laptop. Do you see it? Yes. Your laptop is on the chair. Where's my book? Which one? The dictionary. It's under the table. Where's my pencil? There's a pencil in front of the lamp. That's not a pencil. That's a pen. Oh, sorry. There is a pencil behind the cup. How about my backpack? Do you know where that is? It's in between the wall and the bed. Where are my shoes? They are on the left side of the TV. I don't see them. Sorry, I made a mistake. They are on the right side of the TV. Thanks. Oh, and here are your glasses. They were next to your cell phone. Buying a plane ticket. Next, please. Hello, how can I help you? I'd like to buy a ticket for New York. Would you like one way or round trip? Round trip. When will you be leaving? When does the next plane leave? In about two hours. I'd like a ticket for that flight, please. First class or coach? Coach. Okay. Let me check availability. I'm sorry. Tickets for that flight are sold out. How about the one after that? Let me see. That one has seats available. Would you like me to reserve a seat for you? Yes, please. That'll be $120. Okay. Thank you. Here's your change. At the restaurant. This looks like a nice restaurant. Yeah, it is. I come here all the time. Let's sit over there. Okay. Can you pass me a menu, please? Sure. What are you going to have to drink? I'm going to have a glass of beer. How about you? I think I'll have a glass of wine. Do you want to order an appetizer first? Not really. Maybe we can just order some bread. Okay. What are you going to have to eat? I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Can you recommend something? Sure. I've had the steak and lobster before. They're both very good. I think I'll have the lobster. What are you going to have? I'm not that hungry. I think I'm just going to have a salad. I'm going to go to the bathroom. When the waitress comes back, will you order for me? Sure. No problem. Paying for dinner. Excuse me. Check, please. Okay. How was everything? Very nice. Thank you. Would you like this to go? Yes. Can you put it in a plastic bag? Sure. No problem. Here you are. That'll be $25. Do you take credit cards? Yes. We accept Visa and MasterCard. Okay. Here you are. Thanks. I'll be right back. Okay. Here's your receipt. Thank you. You're welcome. Please come again. Putting things in order. Michelle, can you help me clean things up before we go? Sure. Where should I put this cup? 
Which cup? The red one. Put it on the table. How about this fruit? Oh, that goes in the refrigerator. And those pencils? What should I do with them? Bring those upstairs and put them in the bedroom. How about this pen? Give it to me, please. I need to use it. What do you want me to do with that paper over there? You can throw that away. I don't need it anymore. The trash is full. All right, then please put it in a bag and take it outside. Okay. Now what? I think we're finished. Can you please turn off the lights and shut the door? Sure. I need to do laundry. Hi, Anna. Come in. Wow, your apartment is a mess. I know. I didn't have time to put things away before you got here. Look, are those all your clothes on the couch? Yes. Are they clean? Actually, most of them are dirty. I haven't done laundry in a while. I usually wait until I can do it at my parents' house. My sister and I usually go to the laundromat down the street. Why don't you go there? I know I should, but that place isn't very convenient. You have to wait a long time. Yes, I know. I have to do it every week. Anyway, are you ready to go? No, I'm not ready yet. I still have to brush my teeth and wash my face. Can you wait a few minutes? Okay, but please hurry. I think the restaurant is closing soon. Finding a convenience store. Pam, where's the closest ATM? It's not that far. Do you see that yellow building over there? The big one or the small one? The big one. Yes. It's right next to it on the right. Do you know if there's a convenience store around here? I don't think there's one around here. The closest one is on Third Street, but that's probably closed now. I really need to get some things before I leave. Well, you could go down to Twenty Second Street. There are a lot of stores down there that are open twenty four hours a day. Can I take the subway to get there? Yes, but that'll probably take about a half an hour. You should just take a cab. Won't that be expensive? No, from here, I think it's only about five dollars. I ate at the hotel. Hi, Maria. Did you have breakfast yet? Yes, I ate at the hotel with my son and my husband. Oh, they have good food there. What did you have? I had some cereal, fried eggs, and orange juice. How was it? The food didn't taste very good, and actually, I don't feel very well now. That's too bad. Do you want to take a break? No, I'm going back to the hotel at lunchtime to lie down. Okay, I'm going to the drugstore later. Is there anything I can get for you? No, that's okay. I think if I rest for a little while, I'll feel better. Geography and direction. Professor, where's Canada? Canada is north of here. Can you show me on the map? Sure. Look here. Canada is north of the United States. Oh, I see. Where's Mexico? Mexico is south of the United States. How about Connecticut? Where's that? Connecticut is east of New York. What state is west of Pennsylvania? Ohio. Okay. Where's Los Angeles? Los Angeles is in California. It's southeast of San Francisco. Where's Boston? Boston is in the northeast part of the country. Where is Las Vegas? Las Vegas is in the southwest. Going to the movies. Anne, what do you want to do tonight? I'd like to go see a movie. I heard Titanic is playing at the movie theater. Oh, I've heard that's a good movie. What time does it start? Six thirty. It's a long movie. I heard it lasts for about three hours. Will you come and pick me up? What time? I think we should get there early because they might be sold out. Is five okay? 
Yes, that'll be fine. I'll meet you at your house at five. Do you want to get something to eat before the movie? I'm not sure if there will be enough time for that. We can have popcorn and hot dogs at the theater if you want. I don't like the popcorn they have there. I think they put too much salt on it. Okay then. I'll pick you up a little earlier, and we can go to the Thai restaurant next to the theater. Is that okay? Yes, I like that place. The food tastes great. How do you like the food? It tastes really great. Did you cook it? Yes, I made it this afternoon. Would you like some more? Okay, just a little though. I'm really full. Oh. Would you like some soup instead? What kind is it? Tomato and rice. Have you had that before? No, this is my first time. How does it taste? It's good. Try it. What do you think? Wow, it is good. Did you make that also? Yes. Thanks. Next time I'll make chicken soup for us. That sounds good. Did you study cooking in school? No, I learned by myself. I have a good cookbook that I read when I have time. Helping a friend move. Kelly, will you help me take these things to the car? Okay. Which car do you want me to put them in? Bring them to my wife's car. Which one is hers? The blue SUV in front of the Honda. What should I take first? That chair over there, but please be careful with it. It was a gift from my mother-in-law. Don't worry, I won't drop it. Wow, it's really heavy. I don't think I can move it by myself. Let me help you with that. I don't want you to hurt your back. Where are you taking all this stuff? Didn't I tell you? We're moving to Florida. You're moving now? I knew you were moving. But I thought you said you were moving next month. Yes, that's true. But my wife found a new apartment on the internet the other day, and she wants to move right away. Visiting family. Judy, your husband has a really nice car. Thanks. It's a lot better than mine, and it's new. Where are you going? We're going to visit my sister in the city. I didn't know your sister lives in the city. When did she move there? About a year ago, she lives in an apartment on Third Street, across from the public library. I see. It's almost five now. Don't you think there will be a lot of traffic? Oh, we're not driving. We're going to take the subway. The subway only takes about twenty minutes. Yes, but it can be very crowded around this time. I always feel uncomfortable taking the subway. I take the subway to work every day, so I'm used to it now. Doesn't your mother live in the city? Yes, she's lived there for about ten years. I remember when she moved there. Apartments were a lot cheaper then. I know what you mean. It's hard to find anything that's reasonable now. Have a good time. Next time you're free, give me a call, and we'll go play poker. See you later. Ordering flowers. Good afternoon. How may I help you? Hi. I'd like to order some flowers. Who are they for? They're for my wife. Her name is Samantha. What kind of flowers would you like? I don't know. I don't know too much about flowers. Can you recommend something? Okay. What's the reason you're sending her flowers? Today's her birthday. And she told me she wants me to buy her flowers. Do you know what kind of flowers she likes? I'm not sure. I know I should know that, but I can't remember right now. Well, they're for your wife, so I think you should give her roses. Roses will be fine. What color? I think red would be nice. Do you want to pick them up, or should we deliver them? Can you deliver them, please? What's the address? Two forty one Main Street. Talking about the weather. Hello. Hi, Tina. It's Joe. Hi, Joe. How's the weather there today? It's really cold. 
It snowed all day and the schools closed early. What's the temperature? It's thirty degrees now. It was even colder this morning. Have you heard what the weather is going to be like tomorrow? I was watching the news a little earlier. They said it's probably going to snow tomorrow. I really don't like the winter. I wish it were summer. Me too. How's the weather where you are? It's not too bad, but it's pretty cold here too. It was about forty five today, and it rained this afternoon. I heard it's going to be a little warmer tomorrow. Meeting a friend. Hello? Hi, Vicky. Are you there yet? Yes. I just got off the subway. I'm almost there. Sorry I'm late. That's no problem. I just wanted to tell you I'm inside. Where are you? On the second floor. Should I come to the second floor? Or do you want to come down to the first floor? Come upstairs. What? Oh, can you hear me okay? I said come to the second floor. Oh, okay. What are you doing there? Just looking at some books on how to learn English. Do you want to get something to eat later? No, I'm still full from dinner. What do you want to do? I don't know for sure. When you get here, we'll talk about it. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Looking at vacation pictures. Jim, I heard you took a trip to San Diego. Is that right? Yeah. I just got back this morning. That sounds really nice. What did you do there? Well, we were only there for three days, so we didn't do too much. We went shopping and went out to dinner a few times, and at night we walked around the city with some friends. Did you take any pictures? Yes, I have them with me. Do you want to look at them? Sure. I love looking at photos. This one is of my wife and me on the beach. And this one is our daughter Emily, standing next to my wife. Your daughter looks like her mother. I know. They look very similar. Where was this picture taken? That was taken at the train station before we left. Did you have time to go to the zoo? No, not this time. We went there last time. It looks like you all had a nice time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Leaving a message. Hello? Hi. Is Heather there, please? Sorry, I think you have the wrong number. Is this 617-228-2289? Yes. Who are you looking for again? Heather Johnson. Oh, I thought you said Laura. Sorry about that. This is the right number, but Heather's not here right now. Do you know where she went? She went to the store to buy some groceries. Would you like to leave a message? Yes. Would you please tell her Eric Martin called? Hi, Eric. This is her roommate, Kathy. I met you a couple of months ago at the Christmas party. Oh, yes. How are you? Good. Heather will be back in about twenty minutes. I'll tell her you called. Okay. Thanks. Making plans. It's almost Christmas. What are you doing this weekend? Nothing special. Just working. Why do you ask? Well, I still haven't finished my Christmas shopping. Do you want to go shopping with me this weekend? I'd like to, but I'm not sure if I can. Work has been really busy lately. Why don't we go on Friday instead? Friday's not good. I think the stores will be very crowded, and I have to work. Okay, then let's try to go this weekend. I should know if I can go by Friday. Is it okay if I call you then? Yeah, that's fine. What's your number? 223-331-8828. Let me give you my email address, too. It's tom861 at gmail.com. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. I'm a student. Craig?
What do you do for work? I'm still a student. What school do you go to? Boston University. That's a good school. What do you study? I'm studying English, math, and history. My major is English. How long have you been studying English? More than six years. That's a long time. Yeah, I started to learn English when I was in high school. No wonder your English is so good. Actually, it's not that good. I can read, but I can't speak very well. I haven't had a lot of chance to practice. I see. Talking with other people is very important. Yes, but I still don't have many friends here yet. I'm having a party tonight at my apartment. You should come. Oh, thanks for inviting me. I'd love to come. Studying for exams. Hi, Kim. Hey, Sean. Good to see you again. How have you been? Okay. I didn't sleep much last night, though. I stayed up until 2 a.m. studying for an exam. I was up late last night too. The semester is almost over. I've had exams all week. Are you going back to California after you graduate? I think so. After I graduate, I'll probably go back home and try to get a job. Do you know where you'd like to work? Not yet, but I want to be an English translator. That'd be really cool. I'd like to be a translator too, but I don't think my English is good enough. Don't worry about that. Your English is better than most of my classmates. Thanks. Where are you going now? I'm going to study at the library. I have to take an exam tomorrow. Me too. How late does the library stay open? I think it's open until eleven thirty. Okay. Good luck. Making a doctor's appointment. Hi. I'd like to see the doctor, please. Do you have an appointment? No. When would you like an appointment? Is today possible? Yes, today is fine. What time would you like? As soon as possible. My stomach really hurts. Please wait a moment. I'll see if the doctor is available. Okay. Sorry, he's with a patient right now. It's probably going to be another thirty minutes. Would you mind waiting a little longer? No problem. May I see your insurance card, please? Here you are. Thanks. That's going to be twenty-five dollars for today's visit. Really? I didn't think it would be that much. I know how you feel. I'll pay with cash. Thank you. Would you please turn on the heat? It's really cold in here. I have a cold. How are you feeling? I still have a cold. Still? It's been over a week now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a while. I started feeling this way last Monday. Are you feeling any better? A little. I took some medicine this morning, and I feel a little better now. What's wrong? I have a bad cough. Did you go see the doctor yet? Not yet. I might go tomorrow. I'm going to the drugstore now. Can I get you anything? Yes. If it's not too much trouble, would you get me some tissues? Sure. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay, I'll be back in about an hour. If you think of anything else you need, give me a call. Thanks. Send me the direction. Hello. Hi, Frank. It's Pam. Hey, Pam. What's up? Not much. Where are you? I'm in the car driving home. When you get home, will you send me an email with directions to the party tonight? Sure, no problem. When do you think you'll get home? I don't know. Maybe in about thirty minutes or so. There's a lot of traffic. I have to go out soon. Can you just send me a text message with the address instead? I'll do that as soon as I get home. Thanks a lot. Drive carefully. Okay, I'll see you tonight. Bye. Going to the gym. Ed, what should we do today? I've been studying all week. I'd like to exercise. Me too. 
Let's go to the gym. Good idea. What are we going to do there? We can lift weights or play basketball. I like to play basketball. Are you good at it? Not really, but I like to play. I used to play a lot when I was in school, but now there's no time. I know what you mean. I used to play soccer a lot. Do you think we can play soccer there? No, there's not enough room. I think it's better if we play outside. Okay. Maybe we can go play soccer later this afternoon. It's too cold outside today. Let's wait until the weather gets a little warmer. Okay. Did you get my message? Hello? Hi, Angela. It's Dan. Hi, Dan. How are you? Good. I called you yesterday. Did you get my message? Yes. I was taking a shower when you called. I saw that you called and I tried to call you back, but I think your phone was off. No problem. I wanted to remind you that my friend is getting married next week. You're still coming to the wedding with me, right? Oh, is that next week? Yes. Did you forget? No, of course not. I already bought them a present. That's good. I want to invite Megan also. Next time you see her, can you tell her for me? Sure. Does she know your friend? Yes. I think they might have gone to the same college or something like that. I'm not exactly sure how they know each other. Are we all going to drive together? Yes. I'll pick you up first and then we'll go get Megan. Mail. Hey, Jane. Did you get the mail yet? Yes, I picked it up this morning. There were a few bills and a letter from my mother. There was also a lot of junk mail. Was there anything for me? I don't remember. Let me check. Yes, it looks like there's something here for you. Who's it from? The American Embassy. My hands are dirty. Will you open it for me? Sure. What does it say? It says your passport is ready. You can pick it up any time. Do you think you can drive me there? Sure. When? I think we should go get it now. I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll go. Is that okay? Dinner invitation. Hi, James. It's good to see you again. Hi, Barbara. Are you here for work? Yes. Is Steve with you? No, I'm here alone. Steve couldn't come this time. How long will you be staying? Four days. I'm going back on Friday. My brother and I are getting together for dinner. Do you want to come with us? Yeah, that would be nice. I have a meeting in an hour. I can meet you afterwards if that's okay. The meeting shouldn't last long. That's fine. Who is your meeting with? The Boston Insurance Company. I'll call you when it's over. Okay. Can I use your phone? I left mine in the car and I want to call them to get directions. Sure. Here you go. Bad cell phone reception. Hello? Hi, Sharon. It's George again. What time do you think you'll get to the party tonight? Sorry. What did you say? Hello? Can you hear me? I said, What time do you think you'll be getting to the party? Sorry, I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? No, not very clearly. It's really noisy here. It might be my cell phone. I don't think I have very good reception. Oh, that's okay. Can I call you right back? Car accident. Anthony, are you okay? I'm okay now, but I got into a car accident this morning. Were you hurt? No. But my neck is still a little sore. What happened? I wasn't paying attention, and I hit a car that stopped in front of me. Were the people in the other car all right? Yes, they're fine. I wasn't going very fast. Were you wearing a seat belt? Yes. Did the police come? Yeah. I called them on my cell phone right after it happened. Do you want me to drive you home? No, I need to go get my car fixed this afternoon. Doctor's visit. Hello, Mrs. Wilson. Hi, doctor. How are you feeling? 
I don't feel good. What's bothering you? I have a stomach ache and a headache. Where does it hurt? Here. Do you have a fever? No, I don't think so. Okay. Let me look at your throat. Open your mouth. Your throat's red. Does it hurt? Yes, it's sore. When did it start to feel this way? Last week. I think you have a virus. It might be the flu. I'm going to give you a prescription for some medicine. Thank you. Try to get some rest and be sure to drink lots of water and orange juice. I changed my mind. Kevin, what would you like to do? I don't know. Maybe watch TV. That's a good idea. We're going shopping later, so I think you should rest for a while. I don't think I want to go anymore. What do you mean? I thought you said we were going shopping. I know, but I changed my mind. I'm too tired. Well, I still have a lot of stuff to buy. When do you think we'll go? Maybe tonight. Okay. Would you mind if I use your phone? Sorry, I don't have signal. Are you kidding? I usually have really good reception here. My phone is very old and it doesn't work very well. What if I take it outside? Yes, that's fine. It works well outside. Birthday present. Angela, come in. Happy birthday. Thanks. I can't believe you remembered that. Well, I have a calendar in my computer. It helps me remember things like that. What are you up to? I'm reading a book my cousin gave me for my birthday. Let me see. Oh, I have this book at home. I want to give you a present too. Wow, it's a guitar. I already have one, but I like this one better. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you know how to play the guitar? Yeah, I know how to play. My father taught me when I was young. Will you play it now? I want to listen to some music. Okay. Do you know this one? Yeah, I've heard that one. I could sing that song when I was in middle school. It's an old one. It makes me feel old. When I was in college, they used to play it on the radio all the time. Sending a package. Hello. How may I help you? I'd like to send this package to California. Would you like to send it overnight or by regular mail? How much is it to send it overnight? Twenty dollars. And by regular mail? Twelve dollars. I'd like it to get there tomorrow. Please fill out this form. When you are finished, come back to this window. Okay. I think I'm done. Is this correct? Yes, that's right. I'd also like to mail this letter. Do you need to buy stamps? Yes. A book of stamps costs three dollars, so that'll be twenty-three dollars for everything. Oh, I forgot my wallet in my car. I'll be right back. Josh works at a software company. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Josh. It's been a long time. Where are you working now? I work at a software company downtown. I'm an engineer. That's interesting. What kind of software do you write? It's a database for small businesses. Does your company have a website? Yes. What's the website address? www.sun.com. How can I get the software? You can download it from the website. It's very popular and it's free. Okay, I'll do that. I have to go now. It was really nice seeing you again. It was nice seeing you too. Email me next week, and we'll get together for coffee. My computer is broken, so I can't send you email right now. Can I call you? Sure. My number is two three three two eight eight two three two eight. Making a hotel reservation. Hello, Marriott Hotel. How may I help you? Hi. I'd like to make a reservation. Just a moment. Okay. For what date? July twenty-fifth. How many nights will you be staying? Two nights. What's the room rate? Seventy-five dollars a night plus tax. Would you like me to reserve a room for you? Yes, please. 
Your name? Nancy Anderson. Miss Anderson, how will you be paying? Visa. Card number, please. 4198-2289-3388-228. Expiration date? 1-9-2012. Okay, you're all set. We'll see you on the 25th. Do you want to play a game? Andrew, would you like to play a game? Okay, what kind of game? Let's play cards. Do you know how to play blackjack? Yes, that's an easy game. I don't want to play that right now. Okay. Do you remember how to play poker? I think so, but you're going to have to explain the rules to me again. Okay. Look at this piece of paper. It has all the rules on it. Okay, yes, I remember now. I think the last time we played this game, you won, and I lost. Yes, that was fun. Okay, let's play. But this time I don't want to bet money. Okay, we won't bet. We'll just play for fun. Checking into a hotel. Good evening. Hi. Do you have any vacancies tonight? Yes, the rate is $55. Do the rooms have internet access? We have wireless. If you have a computer, you can use the wireless network for an additional five dollars. Okay, I'd like a room, please. Would you like a smoking or a non-smoking room? Non-smoking. How will you be paying? Visa. Here you are. How many people? Two. Would you like a king-size bed or two double beds? King size, please. You're in room 237. It's on the second floor. Here's your key. Sign here, please. What time is checkout? 11.30. I have allergies. Patrick, why didn't you call me last night? I was worried about you. Sorry, I was sick. I went to bed early. What's wrong? I had a cough, and my eyes were really dry. Are you better now? Yes, I'm feeling a lot better. Much better than yesterday. Do you have allergies? Yes. Last time I went to the doctor, he did some tests and told me I have allergies. It gets worse in the spring. What time did you wake up this morning? Around 9.30. Are you going to work today? No. I think I'll just stay home and watch TV. I can work from home today. Good. Get some rest, and I'll bring over some food later. Thanks. Listening to music. What are you listening to? I'm listening to the radio. I know that. Who are they playing? Guess. I think it's the Beatles, right? That's right. How did you know that? In my country, everyone knows who they are. They're famous. Really? Of course. My parents saw them at a concert a long time ago. Did you know that they're from England? Yes, of course. What kind of music do you usually listen to? I listen to everything, but my favorite is pop. I see. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I like her, too. She's got a great voice. Taking a taxi. Hello, miss. Do you need a taxi? Yes. Do you have any luggage? Just these two suitcases. Okay. I'll put them in the back for you. Where are you going? The Comfort Inn. I think there are two in Boston. Which one are you going to? The one downtown. Is this your first time in Boston? No, I've been here many times. I come here for work all the time. Do you know how long it'll take? It shouldn't take long. Probably about 15 minutes. Wow. It looks like the traffic is really bad. Yeah. There might be an accident up ahead. Okay. Then stop at the next intersection. I'm going to get out there and take the subway. Help me find my purse. Adam, can you do me a favor? Sure. I can't find my purse. Can you help me? No problem. I'll help you look for it. Thanks. What color is it? It's black. 
Did you look in the kitchen? Yes, I already looked there. I'll look in the living room. Did you find it? No, it's not in there. When was the last time you saw it? I had it when I went to the library this morning. Do you think you might have left it there? Maybe. I'll call the library and ask them if anyone found it. Wait, is this it? Yes, that's it. That's my purse. Thanks for helping me find it. I dropped your calculator. Hi, Tracy. What's going on? Hi, Thomas. I'm waiting in line to buy a DVD player. The line is too long. Why don't you come back tomorrow? I think you're right. They're going to close soon. Let's go get some coffee. Okay, wait a minute. I have to get something out of my purse. Will you hold this for me? Sure. Oops. What happened? I dropped your calculator. Is it broken? I'm not sure. Let me have a look. No, I don't think it's broken. The button came off, though. I can fix it. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. I do that all the time. If it is broken, I have another one in my car. We're not lost. Are you hungry? No. Why? We've been driving a long time. I think we'd better find some place to eat soon. No, I'm okay. We're late, so we'd better not stop. We've passed that same store three times already. I think we're lost. We should ask someone for directions. We're not lost. I've never gone this way before. Do you know where you're going? Yes, this road goes through town. It's faster than the highway. Okay. Would you mind driving a little slower, please? Sure. No problem. Did you see that sign back there? I think this is a one way street. No, I didn't see that. I'm going to have to turn around. You can't turn around here. I think you should let me drive. I think you're right. I'm getting tired. I brought you an apple. Hey, how did you get here? I rode my bike. Are you serious? Why did you do that? I could have picked you up. That's okay. I didn't want to bother you. I know you don't like to wake up early. That's so nice of you. Aren't you cold? No, not really. I wore a coat. What's in the bag? It's a special type of apple. Oh, can I try one? It's very sweet. I put sugar on it. These apples are really good. They were only thirty cents each. Aren't those more expensive than the ones in the supermarket? Yes, they're more expensive, but they taste better. Did you buy any other fruit? Well, besides apples, I bought oranges and bananas.